I researched this unfair dealing of a Chinese woman athlete for two days, and yet have to clean it, have no clear answer on whose behalf Leonardo responsibly spoke when he said we. First, he is an executive director of World Swimming Coach Association and American Swimming Coaches Association. Reference follows. The World Swimming Coaches Association website identifies 123 countries of coaches with individual membership and names eight national coaches association memberships by Australia, Canada, Germany, Great Britain, Philippines, South Africa, Tanzania and USA. Does Leonard speak on behalf of coaches from all those nations and their national swimming federations? Does he speak on behalf of the membership of American Swimming Coaches Association? Does he speak on behalf of Team USA at London 2012? As the Guardian articles attest Leonard is a major figure in the swimming world, a top US coach, and that his comments are liable for further increase tensions between China and the Americans. Does he speak on behalf of all male athletes or on behalf of American male swimmer Ryan Lochte, as he performed better over the last 50 meters of freestyle than the Ryan Lochte did? Is it a written discrimination between games participants on the basis of gender by an accredited, by an accredited Olympic media member? Does the news report by the Guardian from Olympic Village promote the principles of values of Olympism and are in agreement with Olympic Charter on accredited media coverage of the Olympic Games? Just page 3. When asked about accusation that she was doping, he replied, the Chinese team very, keep very firmly to the anti-doping policies, so there is absolutely no problem. However, a day later, Chinese swimmer's father says he is shivering, exhausted and struggling with relentless questions over doping. The father of Chinese teenage swimmer attempts to defend his daughter. But is it his responsibility? Is this a case of mental injury to Olympic Games participants? Is it a prohibited instruction to intervene in a given manner within the organs of the yoke? Should Yok protect any athlete when he, or now she, is in trouble with such an unfair groundless allegations? In my view, the presented case is a sad breach of Olympic Charter and Olympic Code of Ethics at Olympic Village of London 2012 Games, as presented below. So the following uh, subsections, it's actually one, two, Three, four, four and a half, four something full pages. Yeah, I list the specific uh, wording of two documents of Olympic Code of Ethics and Olympic Charter and identify uh, places with my uh, notes, which in my view uh, in, in, uh, this uh, story violates. So, because look, it's uh, the time will end soon. We need to finish. I hope I mean, I need to, to keep in time. So uh, I will not um, uh, read this all these uh, uh, items, but let me follow just some of them. No, there are the issue of dignity, safeguarding the dignity of the individual is a fundamental requirement of Olympism. There should be no discrimination b between the participants on the basis of race, gender, ethnic origin, religion, philosophical, political opinions. Uh, you can read it uh, using the reference uh, at the publication in the Dopin Journal. So, the integrity, integrity of the limit shall respect the rules concerning conflicts of interest and interest affecting the behavior of Olympic parties, good governance and resources. So, I, for example, noted uh, under the integrity item 6, Olympic parties, the agents and their representatives must not be involved with themes of persons whose activity or reputation is consistent with the principles set out in the Olympic Charter and the present code. And apparently Leonard is a person who is not consistent with these principles. So the concern is that if he is talking on the US team 
example, if the uh, U.S. team is somehow affected by his opinion, they they should distant uh, to uh, distant distant from uh, um, proclaim distance from him. So another, for example, the basic universal uh, principle of good governance of the Olympics and sports movement, in particular transparency, responsibility, and accountability, must be respected by all Olympic movement consistent. And what I say, the issue is applies to those with whom uh, Leonard is associated through his associations, to that coaches, if this is, this is applied. The Olympic resources of the Olympic parties may be used only for Olympic purposes. And here is another issue, because the Guardian uh, correspondent prepared these articles being at the Olympics women pool. So did he use it for Olympic purpose? or just to disrupt the Olympic uh, principle. So, we go on. The York Ethics Commission may set out the provisions for the implementation of the present code in a set implement... Okay, so, but uh, like, uh, so there are a number of items suggesting that York is responsible to react on this. So let me go forward to the next age limit, there should be no age limit, media coverage, uh, York takes all necessary steps in order to ensure the fullest coverage of the games and it's the objective of the Olympic movement. The media coverage should spread and promote the principles and values of Olympism and this is the promotion of values, of fair play. So, after this list of items uh, that this story conflicts with, I, for I go to the next, um, next sections of my uh, article, which is entitled No Written Counteraction of Yok or Nok on the Bridge of the Olympic Charter and Code of Ethics. Okay, we have now one page left, I hope. Let me see. Okay, we have five minutes left, I think. Oh gosh, uh, on the ca on the camera, memory card. So, no written no written counteraction of uh, International Olympic Committee, National Olympic Committees on the breach of the Olympic Charter and Code of Ethics. Today, follow up article at the Guardian entitled "Today means yesterday." Yeah, it was I was preparing this article yesterday, August the first. Now is August 2nd. Today follow up article at The Guardian entitled Yes, she even calmly takes another gold as drug claims storm rages around her. Quotes Colin Moynihan, chairman of the British Olympic Association televised press appearance. She's been through VADAS and World, uh, the World Anti-Doping Agency programmer and she's clean. That's the end of the story. Yeshivin deserves recognition for the, her talent. Let's recognize an extraordinary swimmer. In another television news report, International Olympic Committee spokesman Mark Adams told CNN that doping allegations made against Chinese swimmer Yeshivin are pure rumors. References follow. While Arne Lindquist, chairman of the International Olympic Committee Medical Commission, said at the press conference that he keeps suspicions around the Chinese swimmer for himself, I haven't personally and adding, I haven't personally any reason to concern about this particular swimming unless I, unless I have further facts. Well, I say that it's not the end of the story, as Lord Colin Moynihan claims. My vision is that groundless attack on Chinese athlete is well thought and planned to demoralize Chinese athletes right for the rest of London Summer Olympic Games 2012. Not everyone can calmly take another gold as drug rumors go on, especially when father of E, not Yok, have to defend her outstanding daughter. Too bad. However, if so, the duet by Mr. Leonard and the Guardian, orchestrated by world media, did its job as Chinese women's women's team lost today on August 1 in uh, 200 meters by 4 freestyle relay. Seen late at night into August 2nd, 2012, official website of the Olympic Movement news section reports on how American swimmer Michael Phelps 
who deserves a separate serious doping abuse investigation and stripping of all Olympic medals, I will talk about this in a separate presentation, rewrote the record books on Tuesday, on Tuesday evening at the London 2012 Olympic Games, becoming the most decorated Olympian of all time. Major Olympic website and its medical commission section miss the official statement by York that at the same time modern Olympism was severely damaged by the case reported herein. Likewise, there is no written statement at a, at a host in British Olympic Association. Having competing interest in this case, American Olympic Committee, National Governing Body for the Sports of Swimming in the United States, USA Swimming, or uh, FINA, Federation of International Swimming, official websites. Let me stop references count at 16. I have 16 references in the article. The age of year, a true hero of this summer Olympics. Conclusion. In conclusion, I have to tell you the following. Blah, blah, blah in front of cameras is not a legitimate record-keeping way to protect modern Olympism, as conceived by Pierre de Coubertin a hundred years ago, to preserve the integrity of Olympism of future and to safeguard innocent athletes who do suffer by your lack of required, deserved and overdue lack of appropriate counter-action in full accord with Olympic Charter and the Olympic Code of Ethics. Do something. I will never look at Yeshivan with suspicion, but as a celebration of athlete integrity, a premier that for a loving person, in peace with her soul, nothing is impossible. I will also take this case as a fact of International Olympic Committee, National Olympic Committees, International and National Sports Federation failure in a doping case test to safeguard innocent athletes, period. So thank you for uh, watching this. I will uh, make a reference for the full article. So what I miss, there is a one appendix with more documents so you can read it. But look, I, had, I wanted to follow the text. So I tried to do it and still it's a lot of time. But so what I will do next, uh, look, I realize I have, I'm getting as a part of my doping responsibilities, like in the journal. I get uh, emails with uh, new publications, news, so I think that I will go with daily updates. It will be not like, like uh, depicting this, 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 but I will uh, go through these publications, will see the interest in Razionale, and will present you in a funny way to you. It's one thing. And second, I have a story of Phelps to deliver to you. It comes from last Olympics, when he was, like, in my view, he's uh, practicing uh, sonic doping, right at the pool deck, listening to music, which shows, uh, which is a performance enha enhancement, as research says. So then he has to be stripped out of his medals. And then, as a doping uh, abuser, of last Olympic, he shouldn't participate in these games. So this is the story. So two major stories is enough, yeah? The failure of this, uh, of Olympic Committee to protect Chinese athletes, uh, Phelps, and daily news. Thanks for watching. So and be in love and peace with yourself. Don't play others. See it yourself, you see? The happiness is a state of your soul and mind. No one else can affect it, as he showed with her performance. Okay, they lost yesterday in a team competition, but I hope they will return to a calm fighting for their medals. But you see, the everyone, uh, everyone ability to maintain integrity when these rumors go on and there is no official. You see, when uh, uh, VADA, this uh, World Anti-Doping Association, issue a order of someone of, um, of the failed test, they write it down. So why they don't uh, write the, uh, like, uh, innocent statement, yeah? They like to blah, blah, blah in front of the camera. But for records, for future, we have to have documents, like in any court, not blah, blah, blah. You cannot blah, blah, blah to the history. See you.